Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NBY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Quite the eventful day in this one, not only from the price action point of view, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs watching this one moving forward. Unfortunately, today though, it was uh, you know a nasty situation and one you know that I would summarize by just calling it a, a gap and trap. But now it's a question of is this gap and trap going to turn into a pump and dump? So let's just first start off with the gap and trap part in case maybe you're new to charts. So a gap and trap, that just means that on Friday the price closed right there. And then this morning the price opened right there. So up higher than where it was, hence a gap up. And then to give some credit or credits to once the market's opened, very nice move to the upside. Very nice move. But then this is where things get really, really nasty because there are some poor souls that were buying up around there. And then from that point, it was all selling pressure the remainder of the day, hence the trap part. So the gap and trap is played out, but now it's all about this level down here. And I would definitely consider this a must hold level. Uh, let's see, what is that? A dollar twenty. Why is a dollar twenty so important? And I'm not saying this is what's going to actually happen, but just for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down here to a dollar twenty and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal point of view, that would be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out of. Or said another way, that would imply that the price made a huge explosive move to the upside only to then go right back to where it was, which is the epitome of a pump and up. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to actually happen. I'm just saying that is why that dollar twenty mark is so important. Now, in the event the price decides it wants to try to you know recover back upwards, where are some of these areas of resistance at? First key area of resistance on any sort of bounce back to the upside gonna be right up here at the dollar forty three mark, and then next key level up after a dollar forty three right up there around a dollar fifty five. But all in all, yeah, the chart is looking very, very shaky right now, but we'll see if the price can try to get things turned around or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.